Welcome! Today we'll be diving into Madlib's SP1200 sound and how to get it using just FL Studio. This is the sample I picked out. I chopped it into this pattern. The key is to use microchops because the SP1200 is very limited in its sample time. To get around this, producers would pitch a sample up to record it into the 1200, then pitch it down afterwards in the sampler as a way to get more sample time. The byproduct of this was a bit crushing like effect as the sample rate degraded while being pitched down. So, to emulate the sound, I'm going to use a free plugin called Crush by Tritic to downsample our plugin and get close to that SP1200 sound. The 1200 also only records in mono, so I'm putting this plugin on just to convert it to mono. Then I chopped up the same part of the sample a different way. And I applied the same effects to them. Then I layered the two parts to create this. Now it's time for drums. These are the drums that I picked out. I wanted to keep them live and boom bap sounding, but still to be short and have an almost digital feel. This is the drum pattern I came up with. Madlib's SP1200 beats have a specific quantized swung feel to them, so I turned the swing up and made sure to include this triple snare hit at the end that Madlib loved to do in the 90s. Then I grabbed this sub bass one shot and put down a few notes. I also layered in some tape hiss because Madlib used to record his beats to cassette. For sequencing, I made sure to include dropouts. For mixing, I added this plugin to give it an analog sound. I'll put links in the description for free alternatives. Then I added this free plugin to add some preamp emulation. Then just a little EQ. And here's our finished beat. <laughs> 